Arms races in the natural world are actually expressions of evolutionary pressures plants and animals exert on each other, causing genetic changes. The goal of the plant is not to be eaten. The animal, of course, is trying to find something to eat. Passion flowers and heliconia butterflies have been involved in just this sort of evolutionary battle. There are lots of species of heliconia butterflies, and they all evolved with their host plant, passion flowers. Heliconia butterflies, including the Gulf fritillary, lay their eggs on passion flower leaves. When the eggs hatch, the new caterpillars eat the vine's leaves. Once the caterpillar is fully grown, it prepares to pupate by first producing a silken base to hang from, then flips upside down, attaches to its new base, and sheds its exoskeleton. It then forms a chrysalis. The chrysalis looks dead, but contains a caterpillar changing into an adult butterfly. The chrysalis of the Gulf fritillary is camouflaged and looks like a dead leaf. Female butterflies are hesitant to lay eggs on leaves already bearing eggs, as the older eggs hatch first and those caterpillars would eat her eggs. Passion flowers have raised the evolutionary ante by making egg mimics. They have another trick as well. They produce cyanogenic glycosides, chemicals that produce cyanide to deter predators. Many insects avoid them, but not passion flower butterflies. Their caterpillars eat passion flower leaves. That's their only food. They absorb the passion flower's toxin and pass it on to the adult butterfly. Passion flower butterflies, such as this Gulf fritillary, store the passion flower's toxins, which in turn protects them from predators. The butterflies advertise their toxins with bright colors. These butterflies would normally make a tasty meal for a bird or lizard, but the predators usually know better. The number of passion flower loving heliconia butterflies from the southern United States to South America is enormous. Some heliconia with toxic chemicals have evolved the color patterns that mimic one another. Malarian mimicry evolved to benefit both species. These heliconia butterflies have the same warning colors. Butterfly wing colors are used to signal each other during mating season, sometimes for camouflage, and sometimes to warn predators that they are toxic. However, occasionally the adult butterflies do get eaten. Passion flowers also camouflage themselves. They make a variety of leaf shapes to confuse butterflies. The butterflies are likely to mistake passion flower leaves for some other species and avoid laying eggs. The plants also use ants as guards, which they repay with sugary nectar. The nectar glands are located on the leaves and leaf stems. Relationships between species continue to evolve. Cooperative partners, such as the ants and the passion flowers, the passion flowers and its predator butterflies, or the heliconia butterflies themselves are but a few of the interactions seen when analyzing ecosystems.